Hello everybody, and I hope you're ready for a little story. So this little friend here, and this little brown axolotl I found in a little cave that I was exploring in, is named Felipe. Don't ask why, that's just the first name that came to my head when looking at this axolotl. Uh, sadly, I didn't have a bucket or wood to make a furnace so I could smell iron to make a bucket, so I didn't have a way to catch Felipe. Uh, it really bummed me out. I was looking around, hoping I'd find some underground tree somewhere. But no, nah, I didn't find any. I jump over. I say, adios, Felipe. <laughs> you know, make sure, to, make sure he gets a lot, a lot of water. Give him a chicken for the road. Eat up, friend. And I go on my merry way. Of course, <laughs> as anyone would. I uh, came back with a bucket later, hopefully just praying that Felipe was still there, but sadly, Felipe wasn't there. He even left his chicken. He knew that I had to eat still. He really cared. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I was looking around, hoping I'd find him. Maybe maybe he's just hiding in the shadows. Maybe he's just being a ninja. I go, and I see fish. No Felipe. I say, maybe these fish were a gift from Felipe. To make sure that even though he's gone and on his adventure, I'll still have someone by my side. Of course, I have trouble catching them because I don't know what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I have a, some tropical fish. I placed a bunch of torches around because I didn't want to deal with mobs anymore. They tend to kill me a lot more than some people. So I'm just exploring. I decided to go over here to see if there's ore. I see something like a corner of my eye. Oh, it's another axolotl. A yellow one. I immediately try to catch it. I put down the fish, and he immediately kills it. But I get the axolotl. Now, I'm not really sure what to name him. Since, you know, I just got him. So I didn't know really know what to go with it. I was just going through my head of every name. I get jumped by a spider, but you know, he's already dead, so I just sit in the corner thinking, just, just comprehending, and I'm not sure exactly when in this clip, but at some point, I just think, his name will be Conquistador, and I don't know why it's gonna be Conquistador, I just chose it, I decide to like, maybe he's hungry some more, so I'll just feed him some more of his tropical fish, uh, but he's just chilling. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how axolotls work at all. I didn't watch any of the videos. I tried, like, f maybe if I pick one up and put it back down, maybe he'll go after it. So I catch one. I think he ate it, although I'm very confused of what's going on. So, you know, I try to give another one to him. It's not working. Probably because he already ate. I don't know what, what was going through my head. So I try to catch it again. I'm having some trouble because I'm bad at Minecraft. I, I do get him. And then I put him right back down. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> I get him. And I decide to go back and... Wait. What? Wait. What? What does she want? I'm not going to want to get a seed. Subete no mono. Or what does she got is any. She tell you. Secret attack? You couldn't even fight me one on one anymore, old man. Well, after that fiasco, I went back to the nether to get back home faster. Ah, finally. I had gotten an axolotl. I can return home. I can finally be at peace. Psych! Because when I leave the nether portal, there's a gas right in front of it who shoots at me. Oh! I'm low on stamina, I'm jumping like a madman, I eat my steak optimally, and I start running. Next thing you know, what do I see? A bunch of piglins right next to me! One of them hits me! Oh, I'm going down, I almost hit- I almost fall right into the lava. I'm just hopping and hopping away, man. I was so nervous at that moment. 
And uh, this is El Rico. Uh, if you don't know El Rico, uh, he basically walked into my house once, and uh, I've been keeping him there ever since. Uh, he just walked in and I named him El Rico. I, I didn't. I was just putting down the doors, and I don't know. It just seemed like it fit. So. You may be wondering what I'm doing here. I'm getting attacked! I was gonna go make a statue of Felipe, but instead I'm attacked by the Zombie King's aquatic forces. They heard about his demise. Oh god, here they come. But what they didn't expect is my trusty and very advanced technique to get enemies away from me. Water! And then I have a heart attack here! Oh my god, where did you come from? Jesus! As I prepare my statue for Felipe, as I'm imagining in my mind, you know, I feel like this is gonna be good. Of course, I don't have enough dirt, so I'm gonna have to take that from the mountain range, but... <gasps> Let's start the montage of me making the worst statue you will ever see in your life. <sighs> I already ran out of dirt, but hey, it's a climbing tree sheep. Tree climbing sheep. TCS for short. Very rare. It's my favorite. <gasps> Back to the montage! So yeah, basically that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of work into uh, the Google Translate part of this, which was just me reading off of Google Translate. If you couldn't tell, I did. it did take me any tries, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, comment, maybe. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs>